that sound and then O-R, drawer, drawer, drawer. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Our yeah. next word here is mirror. Now, when I was reviewing this to prepare for you guys, I was thinking about, well, sometimes I just say mirror. I don't say mirror. So you can say it two different ways. You can say mirror, like mirror, and then er, so mirror, er, mirror. Or you can just say like mirror, M-I-R, mirror. So it can be mirror or just a mirror. And this is obviously like a looking glass, like you look and you see, see a reflection. So mirror. This next word is desks. I say this word all day long. I tell my students, go to your desks, sit at your desks, do your work at your desks. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a cough. <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> so desks and the word or the sound that's hard in this word is that SKS sound, <clears throat> which is the S and the K sound put together. So you do S -k, S -k, S -k. and then what makes it even trickier is we have this following S to make it plural, to make it more than one. And so it's S -k, S -k. So it's sk, 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 sk. so then you do desk, sk, desks. Yes, so if you can get that yes, that yes. the the latter sound that sk together, and then just you add that s at yes. the end, then you got that word. That's right, just desks. Good. <clears throat> okay this next word is asks um so it's the same as desk where it's that sk, and then that following s to make it plural so just sk, for sk, ask and then asks so it man trying to say it like this my brain is like what in the world those are weird sounds but it's just that sk, and then that's so it's just asks so you can practice saying that asks okay our next word is library. This is where we go to check out books here in the US. It's great. Um, so it's library. So there's three syllables, library. It's, yeah, library, library. All right, often. This one's interesting because it looks like it's spelled often and you can say it two words, two, excuse me, you can say it two ways. You can say exactly how it's spelled, often. Like I often do this thing, it happens a lot, right? I often go to the store, but you can also just say it uh, without the T. So off, like off in, often. I often go here, I often go there. Um, probably it's more common to just say often, um, to not say the T sound, but if you say the T sound, people understand you, it's not a big deal. So often, often. This word is so interesting. English breaks a lot of its rules. It looks like it says subtle. And when I was a kid, that's how I read it. I read a ton of books when I was a kid. I didn't know how to um, pronounce a lot of things. And then I grew up and I learned it's supposed to be pronounced subtle with a D sound, like as in dog instead of with a B. So it's said sud dull, like subtle. It's the D sound. So instead of subtle, it's subtle. And this word just kind of means like, it's not obvious. It's kind of below the surface. It's a subtle thing that happens. It's not up in your face and loud. So subtle. Then I wrote down some numbers. So in English, there are numbers that I put them in pairs, the, and you're going to notice a pattern in them um, that sound a lot of like an English, even English speaking um, native 
speakers get these confused a lot and we have to ask whoever's saying it wait did you mean 13 or 30 did you mean 15 or 50 and so it's okay to like ask what does that mean but i wanted to go over them because they're so close and they sound so confusing but there are there is one particular rule that will very much help you if you get this rule so the first one here is 13 it's like uh 13 like this number here and then the second one is here 30 like 30, 30 dogs, 13 cats. <clears throat> so the first one is just 13, right? 13. And we see that double E again, that vowel team of EE. -E. And just like we did in our very first words way up here of beach and sheet. And so we see that vowel team again. So we know that makes that E sound. So 13. Now, the second word 30 right here makes it look like it'd be 30. However, we don't pronounce the T in 30. Instead, just like subtle, we don't pronounce the T, we do the D, subtle. We will just pronounce 30 as 30. So it's spell, it would be pronounced like this, 30. So instead of 30, it's 30. So 13 and 30. Now you're going to start to notice a pattern because the same thing applies to 14 and 40. 14, you do four and teen, you pronounce that T. And this is like this number here. <coughs> but then 40, again, we do not pronounce the T. It would be pronounced like this, 4D. So you're going to see that when we have these T numbers, these numbers with 10 and another number added together, right, like 13, 10, and 3, or 14, 1, and 4, that we pronounce it exactly how it's spelled, 13 or 14. But then when we